Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. Solving a linear system in three variables with no solutions or infinite solutions. Now these are the special cases. This is when you, in three variables we're working with planes. And if we have three planes that never intersect, um, then we call that no solutions. And if we have three planes that intersect in infinitely many points, we call that infinite solutions. Sometimes you have three planes that will intersect at a line, and that's something that's a little bit different. That's still a version of infinite solutions because a line, of course, has infinitely many points on it. Well, if you're doing the algebra and your variables eliminate and you're left with something equals itself, I'm calling it cloud equals cloud, like 5 equals 5 or 10 equals 10. 10 equals 10 is always true. That's all real numbers, infinite solutions. It's not any old solution, but there are infinitely many of, of infinitely many points that, um, that are x, y, z coordinate solutions to this problem. Now contrast that if I get something like 10 equals 0. I drew cloud equals sunshine. Things that are never true. There's no variables, but just integers, like 10 equals 5. Could be a fraction. 10 equals a half. Never ever true. That means no solutions. There's no x, y, z numbers I could put in there that would make 10 equal to a half. Well, let's try it. What I'm going to do with this 3x3 three three system is number them 1, 2, and 3, because that's going to help me organize my work. And then I'm going to pick a variable to eliminate, and there's no variable that's easier than another. Um, I'm going to pick to eliminate the y's, because there's some plus and minus signs, but really, there's lots of different ways um, to attack this guy. Picking to eliminate the y's is no better than anything else. In order to eliminate the y's, first I'm going to do 3 times equation 1, and I'm going to add that to 2 times equation 2, because then my y's and these two would be eliminated. Here's what it will look like. 3 times equation 1 will look like this, minus 6y plus 15z equals 18, and I'm going to add that to 2 times equation 2. So equation 2 plus 6y plus 16z equals 8. Okay. Now if I add vertically, my y's are going to be eliminated. I'm left with 18x plus 31z equals, what is that, 26. Okay, so I'm going to pause on that equation for now. This is good because it only has x's and z's. What I need to do now is use equation 3 somehow to eliminate the y's as well. I already eliminate the y's in 1 and 2. Now I have to do something, some linear combination with 3. So I'm going to use equations 2 and 3 to eliminate the y's. In order to do that, I'll do 5 times equation 2 plus 3 times equation 3. And here's what I'll be left with. For 5 times equation 2, I'll have 15x plus 15y plus 40z is equal to 20. And then 3 times equation 3, that's my bottom guy, I'd have... 3x minus 15y minus 9z equals 15. Okay, because now when I add here, I have my y's eliminated again. Now, this is why I made progress. It doesn't seem like I've done a whole lot of good, but I have. I have one, two equations that only have x's and z's. So let's put them next to each other. 18x plus 31z is equal to 35. That's my second one. First one was 18x. Ooh, notice how they have the same x's and z's. That's a problem. Like if I do top equation minus bottom equation, I'd be left with 0 is equal to 11, huh? Not true. Never true. There's no x, z, y numbers I could plug into this that would make 0 equal to 11. Never true. This particular 3x3 three three system has no solutions. There's no place where all three of these planes intersect. So this is a special situation. I, try, I solved it using substitution where I got two variables with two unknowns each, and then combine them, and that's something, excuse me, using elimination, that's a technique that you've seen before, but the thing that made it different, perhaps, is that both my variables got eliminated. And when both variables get eliminated, you know you're going to have a unique situation. Infinite solutions or no solutions. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. <laughs> so if we had... No, that's not right. Three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be... Less than. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah. <laughs> Ha <laughs>